Okay, so let's find, let's work on the solution for problem number one. We will be using the Pythagorean theorem, which is to get the hypotenuse, which is c square root of c squared is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. By direct substitution, we will be able to get c squared is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 10 squared. By using a scientific calculator, we'll be able to get the square root of 116. So C is the square root of 116. That easy. Use your calculator to compute or look for the square root of 116 because this is not a perfect square. So we'll be able to get the answer using a calculator. Let's work on question two. Now, the missing side is the hypotenuse. So we will still be using the Pythagorean theorem to solve this one. My direct substitution we have 13 squared is equal to the square root of a is 5 squared plus b squared. And that's what we're looking for. So the square root of 13, I mean, it's 169 is equal to square root of 25 plus b squared now what are we supposed to do here with this one we will be using the commutative property and we will we will um, move 25 to the other side of the equation so this will become square root of 169 since this is positive, according to the commutative property, if we move it to the other side of the equation, the operation will also change. So this now will become a negative number. C equal to the square root of B e squared. 169 minus 25 is 144. 144 is a perfect square so we can immediately get the square root of 144 which is 12 so the answer to side b is 12 centimeters So we will try to prove the triangle uh, that a triangle who has ten uh, twenty-four and twenty-six is a right angle triangle. So how do we do that? First we have to identify our C. C is the hypotenuse of the triangle or the longest side or the longest side yeah longest side of the triangle looking at these numbers we would know that 26 is the longest side so we will represent that and let's write down our Pythagorean theorem 
So let's write down 26 squared as our C. And then the rest of the numbers, we replace or we substitute that as A and, to A and B. Then what do we do? We will apply basic algebra in this one. We will solve, uh, well, you can solve um, either side of the triangle, whichever, whichever one you want to solve first. But I'm going to solve the right-hand side first, the right-hand side of the equation first. So 10 squared is 100 plus 24 squared. Let's use our calculator for this one. Twenty four squared is five hundred seventy six. And then let's also get the square root of twenty six uh, um square twenty six squared. Twenty six squared is six hundred seventy six. By uh, adding the right-hand side of the equation, we'll be able to get 676. The left-hand side is also 676. So we were able to prove that the right-hand side, c squared, is equal to the sum of a squared plus b squared. They are the same. So triangle 10, 24, and 26 is a right-angle triangle. Okay, now we're going to get the diagonal of um, a square because we can also use Pythagorean theorem to get a diagonal of the square. Uh, but first we need to get the formula on how to get it. We will be using Pythagorean theorem to get the formula of the diagonal of a square. So bear with my drawing here. I'm going to try and draw square and it's diagonal and then we will name besides a b c and d okay all right then our next step would be to replace to represent the sides using Pythagorean theorem. We will be using triangle A, D, C for this uh, derivation. We will derive the formula of the diagonal. We will be using triangle A, D, C. Now we know, looking at this triangle, triangle A, D, C, and let me just draw triangle A, B, C. So this A, D, and C. Side A, C is our hypotenuse. So that's going to represent our C. A, D is one side plus B, C is another side. Or we can also use side squared plus another side squared. Next step is, we add this one. We'll be using this one. So, s squared plus s squared is 2, 2s squared. Now, how do we get the hypotenuse? We will need to extract, extract the square root of ac squared and extract the other side of the equation also. So, AC, AC is equal to uh, square root of S is S times 2. So, this is our formula for the diagonal. Diagonal of the square is equal to side times the square root of 2. That easy. 
Uh, we will try to solve our problem. Just find the area, I mean, find the diagonal of a square where we are given an area. How do we do that? So we now know that to get the diagonal of a square, we can use diagonal is equal to s square root of 2. But since we were given um, an area, we need to get first the measurement. The measurement. Uh, we need to get the measurement of the one side of the square for us to be able to get this part of the equation. So, we were given area of the triangle is equal to 25. And we, know, we all know how to compute for the area of the triangle. It's side times side or side squared. So for us to get one side, what we can do is extract the square root of s. By extraction, we'll be able to know that one side is equal to 5. And then, we just, re we just replace it. We just replace it to uh, we just replace it to our equation. So the diagonal is equal to 5 times the square root of 2. And that's how easy it is to get. That's how easy it is to get uh, the diagonal of a square.